welcome back to the channel. So, after three months of commuting on my Royal Enfield Classic 350, I thought I'd put together a list of the 10 best things that make this such an excellent commuter. So at under £4,300 on the road, this bike is a steal and insurance is on £150 for a 51 year old with no claims. 100 to the gallons possible, the lowest I seem to get is 88 but I do like to open up through the gears and listen to the bike a bit because um, it sounds so lovely. So servicing as well, cheap as chips, 2 litres of silicone oil for £22 and £10 for a Royal Enfield oil filter. Tires will be cheap when they are due to be renewed as well. They'll be about £140 a pair. Um, yeah, real cheap bike to run. The mud guards are huge on the bike, so they do a great job of keeping a lot of the water off. Added the front mud flap as well, which has improved it as well. But it's very impressive how clean the bike stays. It's evident um, that I only wash out every thousand miles. Little chrome on the stealth models is ideal for a bike that lives outside and will be out on salty roads in winter. And it just gets a wash roughly every thousand miles, oiled the chain weekly, and that's about all it gets. It's a day-to-day -day used bike. Top speed's not much more than a restricted 125, however the acceleration it has through the gears, out of roundabouts and out of junctions can keep up with the majority of traffic and keep you ahead of folks. speed handling is fantastic with a really tight um, turning circle and it's so easy to use in town with a smooth clutch and smooth transmission as well even though it's a single there's no chain snatch it's very very smooth so it's very easy to control while out on the roads in traffic in town it'll sit at 20 very easily a lot of big singles and even mid-sized singles get a bit lumpy and will often not want to sit at a set speed. This will sit at 25 and 30. Living on the east coast we do get quite a lot of windy weather and um, the bike's quite a low profile I guess and despite no screen and stuff it's really stable especially on side winds even though it's got panniers it really holds steady on the road and gives you reassurance. The centre stand is so handy for parking just because the bike will park very stable, it's great for maintenance and watch how easy this is to put on, absolutely effortless, anyone can pull it on at a side stand and um, it also helps for loading panniers, doing the shops and stuff, you can pile in stuff easily without risking the bike rolling or falling. A good feature for starting in cold weather and when the bike gets older and if you're draining the battery with things like heated grips is the headlight doesn't come on until it starts. Just a little clever little feature and um, it's actually good. 
and I think what's not to like about this bike, it is so much fun to ride. It's a wee bike with a big character and it never disappoints. You don't need to go any faster than what this bike can do. It gives you all the pleasure you want and you arrive at work with a big grin on your face and I'm sure you'll be grinning too if you get one. So thanks for watching um, and leave your comments, like, subscribe if you're new here and I'll get back to you soon with another video. Thanks again, bye for now.